name is Leah Harmon, and I recently started a modular synthesizer business called Shocky. Our first module is the Ratchet, which is a rhythm sequencer module. And I'm going to be showing you a little bit about how that works. As I'm demonstrating, I'm going to be referencing the manual, so feel free to follow along. So the first thing that we're going to be looking at on the Ratchet is the tempo mode. Now, if you're wanting the Ratchet to be the master clock, then you're not going to want anything plugged into the clock input. This mode is engaged any time the tap button is pressed, which is right here. When in this mode, the display will indicate the current tempo. It is displayed right here. Once in this mode, subsequent presses of the tap button, as shown here, will be measured to set a new internal clock tempo. Turning the encoder in this mode, as shown right here, will adjust the internal clock speed by one BPM at a time. When in drum mode, the encoder adjusts which drum is selected. One through 12 corresponds to the output from left to right. The 16 buttons above the display, as shown right here, will control which steps are active in the current sequence. Pressing a button will toggle its state, enabling or disabling its particular step of the sequence. To navigate through the pattern when it is longer than 16 steps, tap the drum button. The extra bright illumination of the LEDs will indicate which set of 16 steps you are currently editing. The less bright illumination of the LEDs will indicate which set of 16 steps is currently being played. When in drum mode, to adjust the gate length of a particular step, hold any step and rotate the encoder. While holding the encoder down, the currently selected step will blink and the display will display the gate length number. Gate length will be displayed as number 1 through 6, where 1 is a trigger and 6 is tied to the next active step. Copying drum steps is easy and occurs in 16 step increments. To copy the current drum edited page of 16 steps, in drum mode, hold down the drum button and tap the save button. All four LEDs blink three times. You can now move your edit mode in any pattern to any set of 16 steps. To paste this pattern, hold the drum button and press the encoder once. Four LEDs will blink once to indicate successful paste. So if I wanted to copy these 16 steps to drum, five, let's say, I would hold down the drum button and then press the save button. The LEDs flash so I know that my uh, pattern is copied. I would then go to drum five, hold down the drum button and press the load button and it saved it. Now we're going to be talking about the step mode. Now when in step mode, the encoder here changes the length of your pattern from uh, one to 64 steps. Saving and loading your pattern can be done in pattern mode. The save button will blink when you have successfully saved your pattern. Turn the encoder to save the current pattern to any other selected pattern. So if I were to save a pattern to pattern 16, pressing the save button will save it there. When you want to load a pattern, push the encoder to immediately switch from your current pattern to the one you have selected. So if I'm on pattern 16 right now, and I want to switch to pattern 8 immediately, you would just press the load button right there. If you want to wait until the end of your current playing pattern to start a new pattern, press and hold the pattern button and then push the encoder. The pattern button will blink until the currently playing pattern is finished. Then your newly selected pattern will start. So if I want to change my pattern to pattern 11, I would hold down the pattern button and push the load button. See the pattern button is blinking uh, and it will continue to blink until my pattern that I'm currently on is finished, as you can see. When changing the pattern by control voltage, pattern changes will happen immediately and playback will resume at the exact step left off. Now we're going to be talking about the ratchet mode. Now, similar to the drum mode, the steps for each drum can be enabled or disabled here. Turning the encoder will select a drum 1 through 12. Holding a specific step button will cause that button to blink, indicating you are editing the ratchets for that step. While holding the button, turning the encoder will set the number of ratchets for that step. Ratchets can be set between 1 through 16 for any step of the sequence. So if I wanted to edit step 4 of the sequence, I would hold that down until it blinks, and I'll set it to 3 ratchets. And then we hear 3 ratchets on that step. Now we're going to be talking about the random mode. When entering this mode, the leftmost 12 LED buttons will illuminate, as seen right here. 
If a button LED is blinking, the corresponding channel is ignoring any amount of random and will always play back the program sequence. So if I clicked on channel 12, it started blinking, so I know that the random function will not affect this channel. The display will show the current random value 0 to 100. The random value sets the probability that the next step of the sequence will be changed on its own. When the random is set above 50, it will begin to randomize the number of ratchets on each step as well. The higher the random setting, the crazier things can get. So I can change the random value seen here. CV will be added to the number set by the encoder, regardless of whether the module is in this mode or not. Now we're going to be talking about the swing mode. The display will show the current swing value 0 to 25. Odd numbered beats will always occur on the beat, even numbered beats will have an amount of swing applied. The amount of swing is a delay on every other note. The higher the swing parameter, the longer the delay between the clock happens and the gate for the drums outputs. Ratchets will emit with straight rhythms regardless of swing. However, they will begin when the swung note is fired off. talk about the start and stop button. Pressing this button or sending a trigger to this jack will toggle whether the sequencer is running or not. When the sequencer is stopped, the start-stop LED will be illuminated, as seen right here. When the sequencer is running, the start-stop LED will blink in time with the clock. Just like this. You can also use external gates to start or stop playing patterns. When the pattern is stopped, a high gate will start playing the pattern. When the pattern is playing, a high gate will stop the pattern. You can change the direction that the sequence runs by holding the steps button while in steps mode. This will cause the display to show an F, B, or P that corresponds to a playback mode specified below. Turning the encoder will adjust the letter. F is forward. The sequence advances one step forward every clock pulse. B is backward. The sequence moves backwards one step every clock pulse. And P is ping pong. The sequence alternates between forward and reverse every time it reaches one end of the sequence. So if I want to play my sequence forward, I would select F, and it's going forward. I can also have it go backward, and have it alternate between forward and back backward with ping pong. Patterns are stored in a compressed binary format on an SD card, right here. The SD card must be formatted FAT32. The ratchet features persistent storing. This saving occurs whenever a mode is changed and will not happen more often than once every second. The one second timeout is to preserve the life of the memory when rapidly navigating through menus. The following things will be saved between power cycles. The menu, the tempo, the per drum random blocks, the last selected pattern, the random amount, the start, stop, and the swing amount. You can also reset the ratchet to factory settings. Hold the start, stop button for five seconds until the firmware version displays, and then click the value encoder. This will reset all the persistent storage on the data to its default, including the current working pattern. Patterns on the SD card will not be changed. so much for watching the demo. You can find out more about Ratchet at shockfeed.com.